Welcome to grade 4 mathematics, visualizes, measures, and finds perimeter of any plane figure. This lesson will help you master the following skills. Visualize the perimeter of any given plane figure in different situations. Measures the perimeter of any given figure using appropriate tools. Finds the perimeter of triangles, squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. And share own understanding about plane figures. The perimeter of any plane figure. Let's have an example problem. As part of the Gulayan sa Paaralan project, Implemented by the Department of Education, the San Jose Elementary School faculties decided to convert their vacant lot into a vegetable garden. How much fencing materials will they buy given the measurement of the vacant lot? To find the distance around the lot, we need to add the lengths of the sides of the garden. The distance around the garden is called polygon. The total distance around the polygon is called a perimeter. To determine the perimeter, find the sum of the lengths of the side. We have perimeter is equal to S plus S plus S plus S. S is the measurement of the sides. So perimeter is equal to 13 meters plus 8 meters plus 15 meters plus 8 meters. So the perimeter is equal to 44 meters. Thus, the San Jose Elementary School faculties need to buy 44 meters of fencing materials. How can we identify the irregular and regular plane figure? The example above, or trapezoid, is considered as irregular plane figure or irregular polygon. Perimeter of a regular polygon the perimeter of a regular polygon, it is a polygon with all sides that are equal, can be found by using the formula below. Perimeter P is equal to number of sides times the length of one side. P is the number of sides N times the length of one side S. So the formula for the perimeter is P is equal to N times S. Let's have an example. Given an equilateral triangle with three equal sides, find the perimeter. From the formula, P is equal to N times S. P is equal to N, which is the number of sides. Triangle has three sides. Times the measurement of the side or S, which is 2 cm. P is equal to 3 times 2. It is equal to 6 cm. So the perimeter of the triangle is 6 cm. Some polygons, like a rectangle and parallelogram, have two equal opposite sides. Their perimeter can be found by adding 2 times the length and 2 times the width, or its perimeter equals twice the sum of length and width. P is equal to number of equal opposite sides times the quantity length plus width. P is equal to 2 which is the number of equal opposite sides, times the quantity L plus W. So the formula 
or the perimeter is equal to 2 times quantity L plus W. Let's have an example. Given a rectangle with the following dimensions. Using the formula P is equal to 2 times quantity L plus W, P is equal to 2 times the measurement of the length which is 10 plus the measurement of the width which is 5. P is equal to 2 times 15. P is equal to 30 centimeters. Given a parallelogram with two equal opposite sides, P is equal to 2 times quantity L plus W. P is equal to 2 times L, which is the length, 9 cm, plus the width, which is 6 cm. P is equal to 2 times 15 the perimeter of this parallelogram is equal to 30 cm. Measuring tools for finding the perimeter. How do you measure the perimeter of the following? A book? A matchbox? Swimming pool? Cabinet top? Garden? For smaller objects like a book, matchbox, or cabinet, you can use a ruler or a tape measure. For larger objects like swimming pool and a garden, you will use a meter or a zigzag rule. Remember, the examples of plane figures are triangle, square, rectangle, parallelogram, and trapezoid. Any plane figures are also called polygons. A polygon is a simple closed figure made up of line segments that meet but do not cross. There are two types of polygon. Regular polygon, a polygon with all sides are equal, and irregular polygon. A polygon with either two equal opposite sides or unequal sides. The examples of regular polygon are equilateral triangle and square. The examples of irregular polygon are rectangle and trapezoid. Parallelogram can be considered either regular or irregular polygon. Perimeter is the distance around a polygon. To find the perimeter of an irregular polygon, add the measures of the sides. Perimeter is expressed in the same units of measure as in length and width. To find the perimeter of a regular polygon, just find the product of the number of sides and the measure of one side. 